Now, welcome back, our resident designer, Hamish Dodd, and you have brought, well, you've brought an expert back with you again. I have. I, I do like to bring in my man to give us, you know, the full detail. <laughs> well, Hamish, if there's one thing you are good at, and that is choosing the right expert. I, so. I am, I am. <laughs> good so work. I've got Mark Cowley back with us. Uh, he, of course, uh, provided all the beautiful plants on the set and uh, maintains them. We want to talk about living walls, but living walls inside the house, OK? So now I'm just going to be quiet and let Mark speak. Yeah, because living walls are so cool, and they're very on trend at the moment, aren't they? And they just look beautiful inside. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. So if you're thinking about a wall, there's a couple of things to sort of think about in terms of, first of all, where you want to put it. So if you're thinking inside, you know, want to think about the light, where it's going to go, and then what you're going to fix it to, so the warm material, because there might be a few modifications you need to make. As far as watering it goes, are you going to hook it up to irrigation, or is it going to be um, you know, hand-watered? And then just your plant layout, yeah. It can really change the look of um, any space, really, can't it? I mean, it's incredible. Now, I, I just want to go back to that light question. This may sound like a really dumb question, <laughs> but are you talking light as in natural question. light or light as in your light in the roof? Yeah, well, obviously you want your know, good natural light. Most, like, indoor plants need a good light, not direct necessarily, but diffused bright light. Right. And then, but there's things you can do with a plant wall, so you can have targeted lighting, drop lighting, spot lighting, etc. Yeah, gosh, nice. look at that one on the screen oh, now. Amazing. That is beautiful. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. OK, so how do you achieve that sort of look? What are the things you need to go through? You talked before about making sure you've got the right sort of preparation in the walls. So what are we looking for there? Yeah, so I mean, there's, there's the plant wall system that you're going to use, and we might talk about that shortly, but then there's the plants themselves. And so we sort of talk about having fillers, thrillers and spillers. Oh, nice. Oh, yeah. So, you yeah. Know, so what's, a, what's a thriller? So oh, the thriller, that's, you know, that's most, maybe some feature foliage that really creates the impact. And then the spillers, you know, cascading um, plants. And then fillers, so the things that you put in to make, you know, just block out the wall and create the, okay. create the texture. Yeah. Oh, there we go, on screen there now. Wow, that is oh, fantastic no. looking. Uh, what about growing herbs in them? Could you do that as well? Yeah, so you can do herbs, you know, herbs need lots of light. And, um, and the thing about things when you, if it's an edible wall, because you're picking things off it, it's a bit different from a decorative wall where you want that full green coverage, it's always going to be yeah. changing. It's a good example there. Oh, yeah. look at that! I'm getting all inspired. So yeah, yeah, outdoors as well for all sorts of, you know, edibles and things. But indoors, so, okay, let's mm. talk about systems then, shall we? Yeah, because what I'm worried about is when you're watering them, isn't it going to drip down the wall and ruin your wall? How do you solve that problem? Yeah, that's right. So, I mean, what we've got here, the Woolly Pocket, the system that we use, yes. it's made out of um, recycled milk bottles. Okay, good for the environment, yeah, great. But it's got, so it's got this breathable felt, but it's also got this waterproof uh, backing in it as well. So. So that means that there's no water going through to the back, and it actually comes w way up the front, so you don't get the dripping nice. through the okay. bottom. So it retains the moisture in the pocket. Cool. I'm just trying to visualise it. So if I've got a pocket, so that pocket's stuck on the wall, is it not going to gape open, like in look all gapey? No, so it's designed so, yeah, so when you, 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 know, you pot it in with soil, it does, it bulges out a bit, there, looks and good. then you do the planting, and, and it gets covered. So you plant it once it's on the wall? Correct, yeah. yeah. So, so these, they come in like singles or threes and fives. So you make the rows and the size that you want, you stick them up, Fill it up with soil, plant away. How do you attach them? So yeah, so it comes with um, they've got the eyelets and the screws, and you can fix it. You can fix it into into plasterboard, uh, some you know masonry. How kind of heavy tiles. does it get though? Does it get a bit of weight on, especially if you're watering it as well? Yeah, yeah. So a pocket fully planted when it's watered, each pocket might be about eight kgs. But again, the way that it works, it's like when you hang a picture. You know, not right. all that that weight isn't all in the in the little tack. It's yeah. distributed through the back of the of the, the pocket. Right, so let's recap the things that you're going to look out for. Make sure it's got a bit of natural light. Make sure that you've got your thriller, your spiller and your filler. That's the one. And make sure you've got this as well. Now, where does one get one of these from? Yeah, so verticalgarden.co.nz yeah. is the site where they're available online. OK, cool. So you can either just buy the pockets or we can come and install it all for you, look after it. Get a man in, as I'm like Get a man in. Nice. I'm and actually really on trend at the moment, aren't they? So excellent. It's always good to have green stuff inside because it yeah. also is very healthy for the environment and it just looks so cool. Uh, not green, green fingered, green thumbed, but um, I am <laughs> willing to learn because I just really want to have one of these living walls. They just look so cool. Well, thanks very much, Hamish and Mark. Some really great tips there.